Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, it's a bit of an unusual one today. I'm going to expand the lab here. If you haven't seen the lab before, if you haven't seen my lab tour video, it's tiny. You get the illusion that it's actually big because I put the camera up there and I shoot the background here, but it's actually only two meters deep by two and a half meters wide. You Yanks will have to convert that for feet, but uh, it's absolutely tiny. And as you can see, here's the bonnet of my car. It's in the garage. The car actually noses up pretty much right up inside the lab itself. So the only way I can get an extra bench in here, I mentioned this on the live show, is to actually extend the uh, an, another bench out over the bonnet of the car. And that's what I'm exactly what I'm going to do. I've got a new uh, pine bench top. It's uh, two meters long, which brings it out to about here, and uh, it's 900 millimeters deep. So I plan on actually mounting that above the car and um, having uh, attaching it to the wall over there where this toolbox is, and extending out this main bench. So I've almost got my entire um, lab enclosed in a big U-shaped bench kind of thing and there'll only be a tiny entrance way here probably have to saw off some of this bench anyway I'm gonna sort of make it up as I go along and uh, should be fun so uh, hopefully uh, you'll get some footage of me building this thing and some before and after shots so hope it goes well suck it and see which way is the wind blowing all right well it looks like this toolbox has got to go I fixed it to the wall uh, <laughs> back when I built this thing thinking oh yeah it's great but uh, unfortunately it's uh, it's uh, actually below the level of the bench so maybe once I put the bench back on here I might be able to put it back or something but for now I've got to uh, unscrew the thing from the wall and uh, get rid of all this and probably anchor the bench directly onto an existing mount that I've got there not sure what I'm going to do on this side and uh, the other side of it's going to be anchored up to the roof That ain't light. And of course, Murphy will get you every time. My existing mount here for the um, for the toolbox, I thought it looked like it might be the perfect level for the bench, so I wouldn't have to build another support. But uh, if I look at the level here, nah, it's pretty much way out. I've got to knock off probably half of that 19 mil pine there so I've probably got to go for like a I don't know is there like a 12 mil pine or something but I can use my existing uh, bracket um, my stayed bracket I've got here on the wall it's really strong and it's uh, level from side to side I've actually got uh, two of them there so uh, that that should uh, work out well that will be a nice support for my new bench it does actually extend out far enough so Beauty. I think we have a win there. I just have to get uh, another uh, thin board which goes on top of that. And it just so happens up in the roof I have a bit of 13 mil pine. Fantastic. And that is, that is absolutely spot on. I call that a win. And there it is. The completed bench. I've uh, sawn off some on the uh, side here so that I can have a passage through the workbench. But it's basically uh, two meters long. 900 millimeters deep by 30 millimeters thick and uh, should give me at least some extra bench space. We'll see. Let's take it in and find out. Beauty. There you go, that's what it's going to look like. The uh, leg's not going to be under here like this, it's going to have one leg over here so that, and nothing on the other corner so that the car can actually drive under because I think the car actually comes out to the end of the bench here, the car bonnet, even slightly over. So um, 
yeah, the nose of it can't have a leg there, but the whole idea is to have one leg over here, anchored over there, and potentially another one, uh, another uh, beam, actually uh, a post uh, going up to the ceiling to a uh, another uh, rafter up there, and anchoring that in that way. So that should hold that corner. And then all this space is completely free under here. That's the plan anyway, but uh, I was thinking that I might have to shave a bit off this bench, but doesn't look like it. It looks like I can just walk uh, straight through. Beauty, I like it. And I'm just about ready to uh, oil the thing. I've got to finish it off. You can't just leave it uh, raw like that. You've got to have a nice oil finish uh, to it like I've done with the other benches here. And um, I've uh, done it so it's actually flush with the other bench there, which is nice. And uh, I've used, I've countersunk uh, some bolts into here which screw into the existing brackets I had. Uh, the existing stayed brackets that I used for my toolbox, my red toolbox I had conveniently with some extra pine there. It uh, sits nicely. I've um, I've got an extra leg which has to go on it, but apart from that, it's uh, ready to be uh, finished off and then at least uh, and bolted into place. give you a look at that there you go the front of the car to the uh, post I've got there so uh, I I probably am going to add like a uh, little uh, sensor onto that post some sort of distance um, sensor one of those ultrasonic things I think I'll have to make something like that so it tells me how close I am to that uh, post and also uh, how far the car is in from the garage door as well but uh, there you go. It's uh, complete except for uh, this corner here, which isn't uh, held up at all. It's got uh, nothing holding it up whatsoever, but uh, there you go. I'm going to have to, if you've got any good ideas for that, let me know. But uh, I'm, I'm going to have to add um, something on here to screw it into the roof, uh, perhaps. Now, I've actually moved the car back a bit, uh, so it's just a couple of inches out from the garage door, basically as close as I want to get it. And I've got a good oh, 40 centimetres there, or something like that, uh, distance between the car. So, I could, and I've got some distance here as well, so I could actually get another post in there. It's not cut to size, but I've got some left over there, and there's no reason why I couldn't put that right on the corner there. And that would actually be quite reasonable, I think. If I put that, if I stabilised it there, the rest of it, because it's anchored uh, twice over there, once here and once there, that should probably do it. I don't know, might, might have to mull it over a bit, but uh, that's good enough for today anyway. I think I'm done for the time being. I like it. See ya.